Harrison, what went wrong there in the last, I don't know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds of the game? You guys had the turnover. Just nothing seemed to go right. Yeah, I got a shot the, uh, shot the hoop. Missed it. Uh, I had a turnover, and that was the game. Harrison, it seemed like you guys played pretty solid defense those first three quarters, and Dallas got going a little bit uh, in that fourth. What did you feel like went well in those first three and changed in the final? I mean, I thought they did a good job of uh, just capitalizing on some of our some of our breakdowns and made some tough shots. Um, it's really what it was. HB, how much does this feel like a blown opportunity for you guys? I mean, anytime you have a loss, um, you had opportunities to extend the lead and or win the game. It's going to be tough, but. You know, that's just the nature of it. HB, after the, the first game on Tuesday night, Mike talked a lot about the offense and instead of the defense. Offensively down the stretch, what did you guys think of just the so shot selection, the looks that you were getting and generating and obviously not falling? Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, you know, you can you can nitpick a lot of things. I thought we had some good looks that didn't drop. Um, you know, obviously, I had to take care of the ball a little bit better. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's, those are two things that stick out. Uh, Harrison, how, you know, just what can you say about your concern for Malik and, and kind of really the mounting like injury issues that, that you guys are dealing with now and, and really throughout the year? Yeah, um, you know, it's unfortunate. Um, you know, obviously still trying to figure out the severity of it, but, um, you know, that's just that, that's, that's part of the business. Um, I think last year, you know, we were extremely healthy and we didn't really have to worry about that as much this year. You know, we've been, you know, a little bit injury plagued and towards the end of the season, um, more than usual, so uh, it's just next man up mentality. And I thought uh, Kessler came in, uh, provided us with some good minutes tonight. Um, and, you know, we'll need more of that from him moving forward. Yeah, building off that a little bit, HB. I know it's tough to talk about in a loss, but Kessler's performance, staying ready, Davion staying ready, just the energy that the bench, the other guys tried to provide with Malik and Trey and everybody out. But I guess what is that? Your perspective on that as a starter? It's huge. I mean, I think you know Kevin going down, Keon stepping up was big. You know. Um, you know, Malik going down tonight, uh, you know, Kessler stepping up, Davion you know, stringing together, you know, good games, you know, impactful minutes for us. You know, that's going to be huge for us here down the stretch. Um, you know, every single guy, you know, just being ready, you know, to step in and uh, whether they're playing five minutes or 20 minutes or whatever it may be, you know, just trying to give us a positive lift. Uh, Fox, just where do you feel that one went wrong for you guys tonight? Uh, I mean, you can't give up 34 points in the, in the fourth quarter. I mean, I think we had – you know, command of the game pretty much most of the game. And uh, losing the fourth quarter by 13 uh, isn't going to win you many games. And just along those lines, just how much does this feel like a blown opportunity for you guys? Uh, definitely a big blown opportunity. Obviously, um, you know, having the season series on the line and uh, we would have been able to tie, up, tie it up, tie it back up, tie the standings back up, uh, which would have helped us a lot. But uh, we weren't able to execute down a stretch. Fox, I, I know it doesn't always come down to – Offense versus defense type thing, but Mike was talking about the offense a lot after the the first loss on Tuesday night. How did you feel about the offensive execution down the stretch and the looks that you guys were generating? I mean, I think we got some decent ones. I don't think they were great. I don't think they were you know terrible, but um, I mean, I think uh, defensively we were better each each quarter outside of the fourth. So. Um, I think kind of that's that's where the game was lost. But like I said, we, we have to be better executing down the stretch and you know making the shots that we that we got. What do you feel like was better for you guys defensively in those first thirds compared to the fourth? Uh, I think we were scrambling. Um, I mean, we contested every shot. Um, obviously, at the end of the game, you know, you know, rotating to Dante and you know trying not to leave Kyrie or Luca, it's kind of, or PJ the way that he's been shooting. Like, you know, you have to give up something, and you know, we were trying to. Um, I mean, we didn't want to disrespect him, but, you know, we wanted to get to a closeout, but we didn't want, you know, a swing, swing, easier shot. And uh, he made a big shot. Uh, DR, what are your thoughts on just Malik kind of going down and, and kind of the, the series of injuries that you guys have had to deal with? Yeah, I mean, that's definitely big. Obviously, uh, what he does for us, you know, playmaking and scoring, coming off the bench, um, you know, that's a, that's a big blow. Obviously, we don't know how, you know, significant it is yet, but um, – Obviously, we were hoping for the best, but if he is out for some time, you know, we have nine games left. We've, there, there's no, there's no looking in the rearview mirror now. Darren, sorry, I, it's sometimes it's the way that Kyrie hits a shot that takes the wind out of your sails. Do you feel that, like some of the shots he hits where you guys are draped all over him and it's nothing but net? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's been doing doing that for years. So, 
you know, you just try to make it as, as difficult as possible. Even when mm -hmm. he's getting downhill, the types of shots that he's able to make um, over two or three guys contesting, um, and it's something that you kind of become accustomed to when you, you try to guard him without fouling, and he's still he's still making those shots. So, um, I mean, he's always been a, a super efficient player, and that's something that you want to you know strive to do. Some new lineups tonight with all the injuries you guys are dealing with. How much offensive responsibility do you feel when there's some new groups out there that might be a little bit more defensive focused? I mean, I have to be definitely have to be better in terms of putting the ball in the basket. But um, you know, anytime I, I, I draw two. Um, you know, you try to get off of it, try to get them in rotation, keep them in rotation. I think we did a good job of that for the majority of the night. Um, like I said, I, I think down the stretch we, we didn't make some shots. I mean, HB got a got an open look, you know, with uh, with Dante and Luca both on me. I mean, he's an open shot from the top of the key, and I mean, he played great all night. So uh, that's a shot that we live with, and then obviously the turnover. Uh, you know, hope those things like that don't happen. But I think majority of the night we were able to keep those keep them in rotation, and it kind of made our offense a little bit easier. <laughs> I thought our guys fought uh, throughout most of the game. Um, Got to give our guys credit. Um, they fought uh, real hard to get this win. Uh, obviously, you know, the injury by Malik made it a little tough. Uh, but we had guys step up no matter who we threw into the game. You know, it, it's going to be hard to beat that team. That team is really good. And to lose the free throw battle 33-12, to 12, I, 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 you know, I, I just I don't understand it. Um, you know, they get calls that are touch fouls, and I ask the officials about it, and the officials say, yeah, they're touch fouls, and maybe I should, wouldn't have called that, but then we can't get the same call. And you know, as as a coach, when your team is fighting, you just all, all you want is consistency, and and 33 to 12 in a tight ball game. Um, that's that's not consistency, so it makes it tough. Uh, having said that, um, we gave ourselves a chance to win. We we turned the ball over a little too many times in the second half. You know, they're, they're one of the best teams in the West, and and if you're going to get beat at the free throw line, 33 to 12, you got to be perfect in a lot of other areas. And so in the second half. We had uh, eight turnovers for eight points, obviously, which is not good for a half. Um, and then, you know, we didn't get out and run as much as we did in the first half. I thought we put a lot of pressure on them in transition, and we didn't push the ball as, as well in, in the second half. But I, I tell you, you got to, you, you know, you got to give it to them. They, we, we took some tough shots in the fourth quarter, um, uh, especially down the stretch. And, you know, Dallas is such a veteran team. They're a veteran team. They're, their guys are very, very, very uh, smart. They got a good feel for the game. They just kept attacking what they felt was a mismatch or they just kept putting uh, um, uh, Domus in a ball screen. And, you know, we're trying not to let Kyrie beat us. We're trying not to let Luka beat us. And at the end of the day, we're saying, hey, somebody else is going to have to beat us down the stretch. But they didn't panic. They just kept doing what they were doing and as soon as we committed two to the ball they just drove us and stretched the double team and then got off the ball to the open man and then when we rotated to open man they just swung the ball to the next man and they just they got wide open shots and the way they played down the stretch I applaud them because uh, it, it was just a veteran team executing and taking what the defense gave them um, and them just being patient, coming up, attacking the mismatch or attacking uh, Domus when, and, and, you know, when we had to blitz so that those two guys wouldn't beat us. So um, their execution was at a high, 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 high level down the stretch and Exum finally hit a big three. So... Um, I, I, I applaud our guys for the effort that they gave, and this one, uh, this one's tough to let slip away. Mike, after Tuesday's game, you talked about the offense over the defense. How do, what is the balance of the broad view of giving up 34 in the fourth quarter versus the stringing together three or four straight shots or stops with I think Exum missed shots and then not being able to offensively execute to take advantage of those stops? No, well, at the end of the day, we weren't going to allow Kyrie or Luca to beat us. I mean, they. You know they're they're two Hall of Fame players, and they showed up tonight. Um, one's eleven for sixteen, the other six for fourteen. So their their two superstars went seventeen for what is that thirty? 
So they were over 50% plus. They had 20 free throws between the two of them. So at the end of the day, you just don't want those two guys to beat you. And but those two guys, man, they they just got a great feel. They 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 allow the double team to happen, or they allow the switch to happen, and they attack right away. And so now you got to come help. But they get off the ball so well. I mean, it's as soon as that double team comes, boom, they're getting off the ball. That guy he either snap drives it, shoots it, or he swings it to the next open guy. And so I, I would give their offense more credit in that fourth quarter than saying our defense was bad because our guys, had, we had to do what we had to do. You know, you got two Hall of Famers shooting over 50% from the field, and you got to get the ball out their hands. And at the end of the day, you hope that somebody misses, and they move the ball like two, three, four passes after they got it out, after we got out their hands. And sometimes we just stopped rotating because they moved it so well. So I would give their offense a lot of credit in that fourth quarter more so than the way we played defensively because our guys did what we said, but it's hard to keep chasing that ball when they're moving it and spacing the floor as well as they, they do. And then for us, you know, one of the things we talked about, Luca played a lot of minutes. We talked about, hey, just like they were doing to us, call him up into a ball screen or go at him. And we didn't have the patience to quite do that every time. Mike, what, uh, what did you see uh, with Malik and the injury? What, what do you, you know about that? And, and what can you say about what it's going to take for this team to kind of withstand the, the, the wave of injuries you guys are, are dealing with right now? I, I didn't see the injury, so I don't. I can't comment on the injury. I, I mean, Shannon can. She can give you an update, but I have no clue. Uh, I just know that, hey, we just got to have the next man step up. Nobody's going to fill Malik's shoes. And so uh, we just have to continue to try to do it by committee. Yeah, Coach, can you kind of talk through the – the idea of putting Domas on not the big and assuming to not put him in as many pick and roll situations as possible, like you kind of talked about. But how do you think that went? I I, I thought it was good. Uh, I thought uh, you know the, the, a lot of teams uh, blitz Luca, they blitz Kyrie, and they're bigs. They're athletic. I mean, you saw it tonight. They finished at the rim. Not only that, if they felt too many bodies, they got off it right away. And um, so for us, we're like, okay, well, we're going to make you guys play a little different. If, you, if we're going to blitz, you're going to have to find Exum, and now Exum is going to have to play make, and, and it, whether it's at the rim or finding bodies. And now you have another non-shooter in Lively or Gafford out on the perimeter, or it, it takes a shooter out from the perimeter. And so our, our guys, I hope I'm explaining it right to you, to where you get it, but our, our guys did a good job trying to execute the game plan. I mean, you know, they had a big fourth quarter because they – they're offensively, they were extremely patient, and they moved the ball, and they spaced the floor very, very well, and we had to go after their two superstars. So, and, and they hit shots. It's as simple as that. They hit shots, and so our guys did, did what we asked them to do. You hope that they wouldn't score 34, you know, but at, at the end of the day, uh, the way they played, especially in that fourth quarter, uh, it's just the right way to play the game especially when you're trying to take two guys out. Mike, this was labeled like a mini playoff series. Uh, did you see similarities, both positive and negative, to the actual playoffs last year and maybe growth or falling into the same pitfalls? No, I, I mean, I, whether we win or lose, I think we can always grow, you, you know. And, and like I said, we did a lot of really good things. Um, but I, I, I tell you, they, again, they, they put on an I thought uh, almost an offensive clinic in that fourth quarter when it came to taking the right shot, you, you know, and they just kept doing the same thing over and over again because they knew every time they were getting a, getting a good shot. And, and, you know, although it wasn't from their superstars, they were still getting a good shot and they stayed patient with it. They kept the floor spaced and they kept moving the basketball while trying to attack whatever mismatch they felt they had an advantage with. 